Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, today I have my first plant haul of 2021. I have one philodendron, three syndapsus pictus, and one very exciting new alocasia. But to be quite honest, I have more than three new syndapsus pictus in my possession as we speak. But I think I'm just gonna make separate video about them. So let's begin the haul. But before that, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because turns out more than 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed yet. But yeah, to even produce a, such a short video like this, it is require quite a lot of energy and time consuming to research and produce. Yeah, I would really love it if you consider to subscribe to my channel. At least I know how many of you are enjoying my work. But lastly, thank you very much and thanks for watching. Bye! Alocasia species Sulawesi or Alocasia Jacqueline. A lot of you might have never seen this alocasia before. I myself just discovered this species through an online article about a couple months ago. This alocasia is native to North Sulawesi. Sulawesi is one of the largest islands of Indonesia and North Sulawesi is located in the northernmost province of Indonesia. In my opinion, the coloring in this alocasia at glance really reminds me of alocasia zebrina articulata and its shape resembles alocasia sandriana far nobilis. So if the two are combined, maybe the result will look like this. But this one is extra special because when you touch it, you will feel the fine hairs on the leaf surface. Now this distinctive feature is rarely found in other alocasia species. The other one I can think of that has hairy texture is alocasia antoro velvet. If you don't know how it looks like, feel free to google it. I'll find hashtags on Instagram. It's pretty one as well, to be honest. Pilodendron mummy. So if you follow me on Instagram, you might know that I had lost my philodendron mame silver cloud when I just moved into this house. So the reason, maybe I will tell you more specifically in the future. Buyer be warned though, because this is not a cheap plant, especially during this time. I could probably get away with this significantly cheaper way back, like a couple of years ago. But now it is quite pricey. So yeah. I found this plant through a seller from Instagram and this is her personal collection so thank you very much I really love it Syndapsus pictus platinum or silver hero. If you have seen my last video, my 13 Synapsus Pictus collection, you will see there is a Synapsus Pictus silver hero or platinum in the video. So I bought two more from the same seller. The first is this one. When compared to the one I already have, this one doesn't have the green color on the midriff of the new leaves. To be honest with you, I still haven't come across any studies that show whether these two specimens are from the same variety or not. If you do know, please comment below. I would really appreciate it. Better. 
Synapses Pictus Platinum, Dalmatian Pattern. And here's the second one. The seller referred it to as Synapses Pictus Platinum slash Silver Hero with Dalmatian Pattern. Again, I'm not sure if this pattern came about due to mutation or what. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, how about you? Please let me know if you also own this. Now I'm doing this, I just secretly hope that this is not some sort of disease or anything like that. But in my humble experience, I have never had issues or like leaf disease on all my Synapsis Pictus collection. So let's just hope this is just a mutation or what's so called variegation. Yeah, we'll see. Synapsis Pictus species. I got this plant from a fellow plant tuber and collector, Ria, um, about a week ago. For the Syndapsus Pictus fans out there, including myself, obviously, this plant will blow your mind. I mean, look at these leaves. The color is bright green with a velvety texture, and the leaves are thicker than Syndapsus Pictus jet satin. And I'm